Uh, this is Glenn again, and it's time for my uh, conditional inspection again on my RV9A. I'm not going to pan the camera around too much because I don't want to you to see my messy hanger. But we're here. We're here with AJ again, who's a A&P with inspect inspector authorization, and we're going to show you how to do a compression test. And this is uh, on my uh, Lycoming 360. So AJ, it's all yours. Hi, Glenn. Hi, AJ. <laughs> okay, compression test time again. First of all, you've got to have a compression tester such as this one right here. We've got it plugged into air right now. You'll see that the air gauge is at about uh, 85 pounds. This, this side is at 80. We have a master orifice on this uh, compression tester. We can relieve that pressure, which we just did. And now we have, we have pressure over here. We can put the master orifice back on. We still have zero pressure. You want to make sure that you have zero pressure on the hose because when you plug it into the uh, cylinder, you don't want that prop to spin on you. We also have, right here, we have the, uh, uh, the, the, the adapter, the spark plug adapter. You'll notice that there's an O-ring right here. This will give us a good seal against the cylinder when we put, plug this in. Now get down here, Glenn, and we'll be inserting the uh, insert in here. Turns in pretty easily. You gotta make sure that you're in alignment, that you don't have any cross threading going on. And there we go, she's all set. Now I'm going to give it a little bit of torque so that that O-ring is uh, seated real firmly onto the cylinder. There we go, with the spark plug uh, uh, wrench. Put that in the pocket. So it's pretty much just a hand torque is all you need? That's all you need is a hand torque because that O-ring seal will, will uh, seal up the uh, uh, cylinder. All right, so here we have our compression tester. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put thumb pressure on the on the uh, input of the uh, adapter. And then we're going to take the prop and we're going to turn the prop until we feel thumb pressure. Feel the pressure on the thumb through the adapter, and it's starting to come up with, on pressure right now. Now listen, you'll hear the impulse coupler clip. When that impulse coupler clicks, it indicates that you're near top dead center on that cylinder. Uh, impulse couplers are set up to do that because that's how you get your, your engine started. <clears throat> okay, so now we have zero pressure here. So we know that there's no pressure, but we're still gonna hold on to the prop and plug the uh, compression tester into the cylinder. All right, now, we'll look over here again. Now we're going to start applying pressure, and we're going to give it just a little bit of pressure here. All right, you'll notice that the, that the left hand gauge is at 80, the other one's coming up, and we're going to make sure, while it's still got lower pressure, we're going to make sure that we get the highest pressure possible on the right hand gauge. Now we can, when, at this point in time, if you're real dumb, you can let go of the prop, but you don't want to be real dumb. And just to note for the record, even though it looks like I'm right in the props path, I'm outside of the props That's path. That's right. Now we're going to increase the pressure all the way open on this valve. You'll see that our air pressure is 80. It's a shade around 80. And on the right gauge, we are at 76 pounds. Now we can move the prop a little bit just to make sure that we are right on top dead center. You'll notice that the gauges are moving around but we're still at about 77 pounds, okay? So we are at the maximum now. And so we record that reading of 77 pounds. This is cylinder number two onto our, our inspection sheet. Okay. All right, now we turn off the air, dump the, uh, dump the air on the uh, uh, cylinder, detach, and we're all set to go. Okay. You have just done that. Now we go on to the next cylinder. Now on a light combing, We've already done number one and number two, but on a light homing four cylinder, the firing order is one, three, two, and four. So we only have to go around one, uh, one revolution on the prop to get to the next cylinder. So when you go to number four cylinder on this side, because your sequence is one, three on the right hand side, two, four on the left hand side, we'll only have to turn the prop one, uh, one turn in order to get down to the top dead center. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.